Hello again, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. After a fashion, this is Rune Viking Warlord. Yes, I did just play Rune Classic, which, yes, is kind of a port, well, kind of a mix of the OG Rune Gold in uh, this, mixed into one. But I'm just too curious as to how the hell this happened and what it's like compared to the PC version because as you may know Rune Viking Warlord was developed by Take 2 Entertainment for um the PlayStation 2 so I'm now rocking a PlayStation 2 controller which you know it's 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 interesting so far I won't lie um I'm kind of expecting less glitching of graphics and maybe a little bit more I'd say, what's the word I'm looking for here? Smoother gameplay, seeing as uh, I'm I'm always a little bit funky when it comes to mouse and keyboard controls, even in first person's perspective. But um, yeah, we're gonna start a new one. And seeing as I've already beaten the goddamn game on medium, uh, for. The OG, the uh, classic mode. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go easy on myself. We will start the game. Now, one thing that this game does have loading screens because PlayStation Two, slower loading. Buh. Load faster. Please wait. Mmm. From birth, the children of the North hear tales of the end of the world. Ragnarok. When wolves will swallow the sun and moon, when the stars will be snuffed and the earth will tremble, when the gods will face the tribes of giants in a final battle that will ravage all the nine worlds. All father of the gods, Odin, has always smiled upon the human race. To the most devout of his followers, he entrusts stones inscribed with his personal rune, a mark of his power in the human world of Midgar. These rune stones are protected by only the most valiant of human warriors until the day they die and are taken by the Valkyries to fight alongside Odin at Ragnarok. Creatures, only one does not fear Ragnarok, the evil god Loki. Bound deep in the bowels of the earth by Odin himself, only Ragnarok will set Loki free to have his revenge on gods and man alike. And it is only the power on Midgard of Odin and his runestones that holds Ragnarok at bay. People of Wotenkeld, we gather this day to honor one from our midst, younger than any ever so honored. He is yet wise and strong beyond his years. He has carried shields in the battles at Hindal and Uthabi, and aided in the fortification of this village, following the dark tales we have heard from the Northlands. Through trial by single combat, he has proven today that he is ready to take a place among the warriors of this village. 
Ragnar, son of Jarl, kneel here before the runestone of Odin and hear me. You must now put aside all childish things. Swear yourself to protect this stone and the village that surrounds and upholds it. Swear to stand beside your sword brothers until death to defend this holy shrine of the All Father. Raise now your sword and take up the glorious duties of the Odin's Blade. I love that there's a bit where we have to save between this cutscene and what is essentially going to be the next. Oh man, I'm just realizing too, what about quick saving? That's not going to work so easily in this. Loading. Loading. Impressive loading screen so far. Please wait some more. Okay. Left analog stick pretty much just strafes and moves forward and backwards and I do a little on a little jig. Right analog stick looks around. Up, down, left, right. Uh, what was that? Ah, that's the actual button. Squares kick shit. Ragnar. How are you, boy? Ah, I forgot myself. A warrior and a man now, aren't you? Congratulations, warrior. Can I have your sword? Lend me your aid later, warrior. The sword master awaits you in the longhouse. Ah, X to jump. I got a feeling this jump is going to be just as janky, if not more so, than the PC version. Hello? There's a piece of paper I have ahead. Nope, oh, can't read that. the weapons master doesn't share the village's high opinion boy he awaits to test your skills in the longhouse the left trigger or left analog down is to crouch it's not a toggle it's you gotta hold it down okay center your center your look with the right analog stick Still kind of piecing this together. It's it's still weird, considering, you know. Ragnar, it's fair time the village added your sword to our ranks, friend. Did Ulf? Uh, no, I can see you have yet to visit the weapons master. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the best additions so far of this version versus the PC port is the jig. <laughs> Something mystical is going on in this here room. Eh? No? Alright. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna also take a stab and probably say that the, uh... Doors and interactables will be far more obvious. Maybe. Take this bucket. What I thought. I think I gotta proceed through a cave or something at this point because. I can't seem to go through any doors. An old man and a girl just came into the village and they told us that Conrak's men are burning the grove of the gods. Not Conrak and his men. Anyways, I gotta go apparently prove myself that I'm more of a man to... Ah, oh, there it is. Oh. 
Greetings, Ragnar. I hope you feel fit and ready for your final training with Hulk. Drink mead from my table to fortify yourself, my son. I like mead. Don't drink of okay. Continue your studies of the ways of war, son. Wisdom will come with experience, and you'll have need of both in these dark times. Slaughter and destruction sweeps across the land, and I fear it approaches our own village. Okay, if you're done talking. Oh. Save. Because you never know. Let's see. Uh... I suppose I should try to figure out what the, um, next, like, how I am going to be able to save. Because there will be, bo there will be moments where I will die again and again and again and again. And I should probably prepare myself for that. There we go. Okay. We can load game. Return to game. Controller setup. Which I suppose we should look at. Oh boy. Uh, attack, defend, next weapon, next weapon type. Strafe right, strafe left, but we're going to use the analog stick, so screw that. Can change your camera. Pick up, throw weapon. Oh god, throw weapon being put to a single button is going to throw me off, I can already tell you. Uh, change gear? Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a little bit more distance. Come to the ledge, stand on his base, and press forward. Ragnar will automatically grab the ledge and push himself up. While underwater, Ragnar can only hold his breath for a limited time. Keep an eye on the breath meter, blue bar, all that fun stuff. Going towards the surface. Oh, right. Underground movement. You know, this don't feel that bad. I mean, probably as long as I just keep it to the uh, third person back point of view, it's going to be a little bit more tolerable. Let's see. Crouch. We're going to need to jump onto the rope in a second, but first. Excellent. And press the use button to move to the next. So there is no jumping off. Otherwise, we're just going to... Yeah, do that. Hmm. You know, theoretically, I could just swim over to this. Tee. I do like axe. Oh, sorry, this is a club, apparently. Oh, the power of my sword! I... You probably should have let that down a little bit more gently, just saying. Alright, so that, yeah, that goes by weapon type. I don't have multiple weapons, so I can't just... Okay, made of iron or reinforced with iron bands cannot be broken. Those ones can. P pull the lever. I can skip most cinematics by using, by pressing the use button. That's actually good to know. You know, this time around, I might actually just look up where all the, um... Where all the secrets are. I wouldn't be surprised if I missed some, though, already, because tutorials are weird like that sometimes in the PlayStation 2 era. Look at all this food! Look at it! Oh. And there was gonna be some glitching. Is it just me or the tankard's far better detailed in the PlayStation 2 version? Let's try first person for a second. Jump on the stretched tarp to be thrown into the air. 
You know what? Let's not do the first person while doing this. Boingy. Bouncing the ledge across the mud. Oh, I can't eat lizard because I have full health. Right now, can use these vincing geysers. Oh. Some ropes and chains can be broken to cause a thing to happen. Now, never mind the fact that I probably should have just, I don't know, hit a switch or something to make that work. I don't know, I feel like this is a far more in-depth tutorial. Far more in-depth tutorial than what we got for the plate for the PC version. Maybe that's just me. Ooh. Lesser rune stone will abide you, Ragnar, as indicated by the yellow bar. Rune of strength will cause Ragnar to go berserk. Comes off blood loss bar at the bottom of the screen instead of his health. Let's see. A greater rune stone will both refill and enlarge the rune power bar. Gib. A rune of health both. Fills Ragnar's health bar and enlarges it. Gib. Damn it. You can't tease me like that, game. I want those. Seriously. Uh. Button? Because this is the way I. Oh. Interwarrior, the trial of combat awaits you, the longhouse. We save. We overwrite save. Yeah, so far, it, I don't know, it feels easier to control. Might just be my aptitude with uh, controllers versus literally any other scheme we control, like, ugh. PlayStation 2 era, man. That's where it's at. Please wait. Okay, so I clearly need to go to the longhouse, which means that there might be secrets. Did I cut these trees? Huh. It's so weird seeing the trees not be all like weird and psychedelic. That makes any sense. Uh, let's see. Axes. Oh, we got a sword. How Ragnar, after the many hours you've trained in this room, one might think you would know better than to keep me waiting. You're a good boy, but don't think I can't cut a stripling down to size. You may have bested Sigurd and been named the Odin's Blade, but the ceremony at the Rune Stone is nothing but words. Tradition says that before you truly become a man, you must face the most skilled warrior in the village. You must face me. This is the true trial. Defeat me in combat, and your place among us as a warrior is assured. Defend yourself. Oh, alright. Uh... Well, that was easy. Trial is over. For I can see that there is no more I can teach you. I trust experience to show you the rest. Messengers on the beach! Conrack has besieged Copper Rood and their runestone is under attack. We go to their aid. It seems that we have completed your training just in time, Ragnar, to the long ship. Well, that was a fast chapter. I'm wondering how much the uh, levels are going to differ compared to the PC version. We shall have to see. Gotta remind myself I'm on easy mode too. Probably would have been a better comparison if I went to medium, but eh. 
victory lap, that's what we'll call this. Please wait. staunch ally for many generations, my son, and their runestone stands as a proud beacon for longships coming in from sea. Conrak must truly be foolish to besiege their hall. Odin himself will reach down from Asgard and smite the betrayer for his impudence. on the horizon. It's Conrac and Sigurd. Conrac, we fought side by side in many battles. Never would I have guessed that a Viking warrior could so betray every belief we serve. No longer will I be but a servant, old man. Not to you, not the village, not to Odin himself. Kaparud lies in ruins, and I have a mere handful of rune stones to destroy before all of Midgard will call me master. And how is it that you come to stand by the betrayer's side, Sigurd? Whisking a man across the sea faster than the falcon flies is well within the powers of my new master. Why guard a rock when I can stand at the front of an army set to rule the world? I have 40 men within an axe throw of your hearts. Prepare to visit hell. 40 men? <laughs> I need but one to kill you myself. I call upon the Dark One, the trickster trapped below. Call upon his powers, call him from the bowels of Midgard, and offer these, his foes, to his immortal lust for power and his insatiable hunger for vengeance. You know, dare I say, I think that cutscene was better done here. I don't know, I, I feel like there's a lot of things that I... When it comes to PlayStation versus console, one of the things I like about PlayStation is that a whole lot of things have to be intentional because otherwise they're just going to look weird and they're permanently going to look weird because this shipped out on a disc. PlayStation 2 didn't have a way to update that feature unless someone was all like, Hey, here's version 1.3 of that same game, which just tweaks this little thing here and there. But anywho.
That's just me readjusting myself again. I'm kind of amazed that I decided to go back into this. I, I was just mostly curious about how the hell the controller works, but it feels really good. But that's coming from someone who's... Hello. Awakened warrior. The time for your death is not yet at hand. I live. Take a breath. Hello. Hurry up. How do I draw a weapon? Uh. Ah, there we go. Hurry up. Did that just disappear or did I just delete it? I thought I just deleted it for a second. Alright. Hmm. Okay, that might not feel so good, though. Oh, man, those things make their appearance again. I like mace. Bonk. Whee! It is a little messed up having to swim through the, uh... Bodies of the fallen. And I'm gonna forever have uh, Brothers of Valhalla songs stuck in my head from playing this, aren't I? Mead. Another. Another. Oh. <laughs> uh, this might be their way of fixing uh, not having. Uh, quick saves, just making it so as you automatically save every single time that you go into a new area. Well, I say new area, but throw quotations around that. I wonder if the loading screens ever change. Probably will. Maybe. Oh, I already have a sword. Man, the environs are really cool, though. I might say that, might be saying that though, because you know this looks a little bit more natural than what I had to. Like the lighting of this is really good. Hear me, son of Jarl. I am Odin, and know that it is the father himself who has saved you from certain death. You seek vengeance upon Conrack, and I have granted you this chance. Your journey through the underworld will be rife with danger, and you must arm yourself against the creatures that dwell within these caverns. But when next you breathe the open air, you will stand outside the fortress defiled by the betrayer. The city of Thorstad. Good journey, warrior. And do not squander this opportunity. I suddenly can't help but wonder how much of the dialogue... Oh, that's cool. How much of the dialogue of this is also... Uh, changed from the PC version. And there's just a lot of little things about this game that I'm curious now. How much of the textures are different? How much of the voices are different? I really like, though, the fact that the... Um... I'm going to accidentally overwrite at least thrice per episode, I swear. I really like that the lighting settings are, like, set in stone. But <laughs> Sorry. That face got me. Uh, so, it's not... So, it's still, you know, an environmental thing. 
Oh, there's a little progress bar at the right side of the screen. I'm only realizing that. This wall looks fragile. You know what I'm saying? Well. Alright, so we need to cross. But yeah, everything so far is really good looking. At least to me and him. Like compared to the PC port, and I'm pretty sure that there's a bunch of settings that one can do for the PC port to make it look good. Oh, not down there. But man, sometimes you really do just want to pick up a game and start playing, you know? So... Ah. Like I said, jumping feels a little bit janky, but, you know. Jump towards the chain, you will automatically grab onto it. First... I have to eat my obligatory lizard. Off the chain, man! There we go. Uh, let's switch. Oh. That's indeed a berserk rune. And uh, I don't mean like the ones from the anime. Oh, I see. Okay. Are you? Ah, some moon stuff. Okay, so I'm not necessarily supposed to get down to that berserk point at this moment. No, we're fighting skeletons. Hey, maybe I should have should have done medium difficulty as opposed to easy difficulty. Yeah, already this is so much more different than the uh, PC port. I don't remember this area for one. Then again, the first areas uh, of the la of the first eh, the PC game. Kind of haven't been in my brain for a bit. Okay, so I gotta try to get up there. And door locked behind me. What do I use? Ah. Hit. Nope. Ah, okay. Oh. Loki, you trickster. With your illusions. Yeah, I'm really digging this so far. Uh, torch. And in front of uh, the fire sword, sit use. There we go. I light previous other areas. What? Oh. All right then. I mean, I'm I'm still not sorry about putting it on easy mode, but man. The spike of difficulty between easy and medium difficulty must have been massive. Love that. Uh, 
And I just need to remember not to accidentally push, push, push certain buttons. I'm sure that do, that does something. Oh, okay. Got it. Alright, so I do it in the reverse order so I can do... This is actually cool. I really like it. Wall. Yeah, the only thing I know that I'm probably going to be ugh, really ugh when it comes to this game about is dealing with having to make jumps. And most jumps, it's kind of whatever, but consider insta-death jumps. Like this effectively would be, probably. Oh, the game's just giving me all the lesser wounds of power. it so far. I really am. Definitely um cool so far. <laughs> that that face is gonna be fantastic every single time I swear. Ah. Oh man. This is good so far. I really do like it. Heed me, Ragnar. Your route to vengeance leads through this, the boundaries of Hell's domain. She will not take kindly to your presence. And as you walk among the souls of the dishonored, you must defend yourself well. A moment's weakness, and you will never again walk the sunlit lands. I'm glad they still included that little cage scene. Runes. I don't need. They had a total of like two or three skeletons in the last uh, area, so. I guess I didn't need to make that jump like I did. Okay, they don't wiggle as much as they do, but those mushrooms still have a vibing feeling to them. It. Right. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Lizard. Let's see. Do I need to go this way? There is a thing. Oh. I'm good. All the lizards making very tasty sounding sounds. I'm 
I'm going to imagine- Oh god, the hell beasts. I'm going to imagine, too, that the uh, PlayStation 2 version is far more... Far more linear, not necessarily actually f way more linear. You know, seeing as it has but a uh, very simple design to be taken into account, you know? And by the way, yes, I said that I would be probably using a guide of some sort to make it so as I can see where all the rooms are or whatnot. Thing is, though, ain't no one got a freaking guide. Ain't no one got a freaking guide. Did that guy just fall? I just fell. But I got a feeling that by the time I'm done with this game, I'll have, or get through a good portion of the game, I will have forgotten that I could throw and use my runes. And now I'm just thinking, if they did make a Conan game, they should, they would base it off of this game's mechanics. Or at the least they should have gotten the people that made this game to make a PlayStation 2 game of Conan. The Barbarian. In case anyone's confusing it with another Conan of some sort. Demolished. What kind of you game? Yeah, so far this has been far, far more linear. Linear, that's the word. Like, I'm pretty sure I just missed like five secrets in the gates of hell alone. Oh well. The Hell's Chamber, where we're going to piss off the literal goddess of hell. Ah. Uh. Hey. Sorry, that guy's face. It's just too good. If I could get the loading screens of this game as backgrounds, I freaking would love that. Now, my only sadness of this game, hello. Immortal. Nope, couldn't be me. The warrior. All alone. I shall send you some company, lone warrior. Nope, couldn't be me. Not at all. Not one bit. It ain't me. It ain't me. I'm no lone warrior. Oh, guy, but you out of your misery, I swear. There's so many lizards here. Any of these have runes of a greater than lesser variety? Oh. I see a lesser rune in there. I guess I really should use the, um... God damn it. I guess I really should use my runes some more often. Man, we got a lot of lizards around you. Let's see. The weapons do seem to go away if you don't use them from the ground. Up there. I guess they just proceed this way? Push the button. 
That didn't open those ones' doors, nor those ones. This is the way we kill undead, kill undead, kill undead. This is the way we kill undead all through our hell. Oh, this is... Simple, but irksome. No? Alright. Open the door faster. Faster! Not that way. Ah, this way now. Just my good wounds. Give me some bigger, better, better ones. I suppose I should eat a lizard just to top off. Think. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the way that they make it so as you don't die really quickly throughout this game. Uh, they well die, but they don't make it so as you needlessly endlessly suffer by making it so as they save your game what feels like every five minutes ah, I suppose the worst part of the game so far is the loading screens to me anyways it's like a good see what I mean shielded himself. How dare. I knew you were coming back. Click the button. Oh, right, this puzzle. Oh, the envir environmental music is just really good, too. Just listening to it. Okay, there's that. Oh, right, that was the... Okay. For some reason, I thought it was going to squish me. These faster elevators, too? I think they're a little bit faster. Are you going to take no chances? switches. Is there even anything in here? Value? Point? Purpose? Maybe a shield, I guess. Alright. Distinctly kind of sort of remember that I had to go down here and make some sort of a sacrifice with this guy. Poor goblin. And then what? Can I call it back up. It feels faster going throughout this game so far. Okay. That just undoes that. 
Wait, what's the point of this room anyways then? I'd say to go through that door, but... As far as I've seen, there's nothing in that door, so... Or no way to open that door, rather. So how the hell do I do that again? Was it was this? No. It opened this. Which just goes back this way. What do I do then? I kind of have an idea. Oh, I didn't even see this other door. Shut up. Thanks for the Viking shield. So glad that this game seems to still take priority of uh, me picking up random limbs and shields over activating shit. So now that's gonna be. Oh, nope, that's a hellhound. Come here, Scruffy. How many legit? How many episodes did it take me to? Oh, hello. How many episodes did it take me to get to here? I know that part of this is you know it being easier. Another part of it is it being. Hmm. Can I just? No. Come on, you bony bastard. Get me. Yeah, part of it's remembering what the hell I'm supposed to do ish. Another part of it's just me playing on easy difficulty. Which makes me really eager to see. Uh, what the rest of the game is going to be like, you know? What difference in puzzles is there? Down, 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 down. Uh, okay. Yeah, I remember this part now. Hey, what am I doing? games guys <laughs> oh man all right so yeah this is going to at least tell me hey this is where you're going to reload from now on you sorry sack of shit who jumped in the lava and Veritas, i thought that it was going down into the lava in the first place so i was like hey i should probably you know jump off beforehand that'd be a smart idea yeah, we're back all the way here. Yeah, we're back all the way here. 
Again, though, I don't think that's as bad as I was initially thinking when I was going to... Uh, no, uh, was initially going to be... Because, like, man, it could be so much worse. Wow, that guy really did try to just incinerate me, didn't he? Let's see if I can't get back to where I was real quick, like. Just letting that guy out of principle. Open door. Oh, open. That's a little funny. And he's like, oh no, I made a mistake. Time to hit the bell. But you don't get to hit the bell. You jerkly jerk. Yeah, that guy's a jerk. I go up, I go around, I see, hey, there's a roof here. I'm gonna jump down into it. Hit the lever. And then that dude's all like, nah, yeah, you'll never get me, he bang. But I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here first. When we return, back doing Rune. Just, you know, PlayStation 2. Which is, honestly, I'm having a really good time with it so far. Far less uh, annoyed, but I think that's mostly because A, easy mode. B, I know the game shenanigans at this point. But thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this adventure as much as I hope to enjoy it again. And as always, uh, if you want to support the channel, you can feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Really helps out, spreads the word that I exist. It also lets you know that I exist like three times a day, uh, six out of the seven days of the week. And if you want to support the channel in a financial fashion, I have a bevy of links down to the description in the description below every little bit helps gives up a roof over my head food in my belly and goes to upgrading my pc thank you again so very much for watching and i hope to see you all in the next video take care cheers